welcome back to my channel. This is Chelsea's Tower Readings and for today's video it's going to be what should I know about this person? Basically, who are they? Um, we can get a deeper look into that. So I did four different piles for this reading or four themes. So if you're drawn to this, this is pile one, which is I do good. Pile two, I am trustful in my relationships. Pile three, I embrace the all. And pile four, I consume my fair share. So please make sure you're thinking of your person and then you choose the pile that you are initially drawn to. I will post the timestamps in the comments as well as the description. And if you would like to book a more personal reading, you can go to the link on your screen now. It's very easy to book and it's a video just like this one unless you prefer typed. But other than that, I really hope you enjoy this video. And if you do, please hit that like button subscribe and let's get right into it. Who is this person really? Now for the theme you guys chose, it's I do good. And for this theme, um, the first feelings I kind of got were that this person actually is, I feel very honest, even when no one is looking, I feel they're honest with themselves. Um, they try their best to actually be a good person and again that means when no one's actually looking as well so overall i kind of get initially a very good vibe with this person that they actually do try to be um a genuine person so let's see what else we have for our anatomy tarot cards so we have three of blades reversed so this would be three of swords but reversed um I feel this person has been hurt a lot in the past and I feel they probably have hurt people in the past and that's why I feel now they're the type of person to kind of make up for that. I think that the last thing that they want to do is hurt people is also kind of what I get with the Three of Swords reversed is that's the last thing that they want to do um, even though they have been very hurt in the past because... Um, excuse me, I just really get that there's a past issue with the Three of Swords being reversed and this person being hurt and sometimes that can make up how we are now but it's good that it's reversed because it's saying that this person, you know, no longer puts up with it as well as, again, they don't want to hurt other people. So then we have Justice, which I really like. I feel like this person's actually very logical um, they could even be like in a law kind of field, but I get that they're actually very um, balanced. Again, they try their best to do good. Uh, I feel this person really is just a genuine person. Um, and we have the page of blades reversed, which this tells me that this person could even kind of be a little bit of an introvert with the page of swords being reversed because with the page of swords upright, it represents someone who is kind of quick-minded, um, chatty, like maybe likes to talk a lot um, may because they have so many ideas that are running through their mind. But I feel even though this person might have a lot of ideas running through their mind, they're, they're sort of introverted. Like they won't be the first to step out. You know what I'm saying? Like I just kind of get that they're to themselves with that. It's It reminds me of um, sort of like... Uh, what was I thinking of? The Hermit. It reminds me of the Hermit in a way. So then it's so interesting. We have the Strength card reversed. So I do feel like this person um, lacks a lot of inner strength, actually. Like I feel even though they they try their best to do good, I feel so much has happened to them. And I think that's why they're so kind of enclosed as well but a lot has happened to them so it's like it's very hard for them to kind of uh right now at least build that strength back up i feel that's something that they're actually really lacking right now so there could be a lot going on with this person um just because we have so many reversals and especially the strength card being reversed so again this indicates like a lack of inner strength um and it could have a lot to do with the past. Maybe they haven't mended certain things and maybe that's why this person is so broken in a way. And it could be just currently, because again, we're looking at 
who are they really? And again, it seems like they lack a lot of inner strength. Although they try to be fair and they do good and they try their best, um, I think maybe some things, like I said, from the past are still affecting them. Um, let's see what else we have. So we have Scorpio, the animal. So obviously the sign Scorpio here. And we also have Sagittarius. So again, like I said, this could be something the person's just going through. I feel they might come off like this a lot. Um, but overall, they probably have a lot of Scorpio in their chart. And it's funny because Scorpios are very intense. And especially when it comes to emotions, Scorpios can be overwhelming. I'm a Scorpio, I know. Um, you know, mysterious. And I was just talking about how this person might come off as like a hermit. And sometimes the Scorpio themselves come off as hermits. It is funny though, because we do have Sagittarius. So Sagittarius is kind of, um, I'm actually on the cusp. And when I see Scorpio and Sagittarius, it makes me think of maybe this person could be on the cusp, but they do have some Sagittarius in them. Um, they're very, they are enthusiastic. They're philosophical, uh, independent. Um, this person, again, is generous. They do good. I feel like this person actually really likes to travel. So I don't know if they've told you that yet, but this person's the type of person who they love to be on the plane. Um, or, I mean, if they're actually, if they have a fear of planes, then they, either way, they love to travel. They like to get out there, you know, even if it's just a road trip. Um, and again, for a lot of you who know this person, obviously, in a, like closely, it could actually be that they were born on the cusp with the Scorpio and Sagittarius. But with the two together, it doesn't. It, it, it's a good combination. I do like score. I like maybe because I'm one, but I do like Scorpio, Sagittarius, uh, Sagittarians. Um, yeah, they're my favorite. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so I just feel like this person does um, lack a lot of inner strength and it makes me sad in a way to even say this because I feel like they're a good person, like they're a very good person, they're fair, uh, you know, they're justified. Um, yeah, and again, I just feel like I, just so much has been done to them, like something really has hurt this person to the point where now maybe again they don't speak up as much um and i feel it still lingers because it's still sort of fresh that someone has hurt them i feel and yeah just lacking that inner strength right now i feel um and it could be some time to repair that but who is this person really that's who they really are i mean they, they like adventure they are mysterious um however they're fair and they're they're good people um how, and at the same time, they are lacking some inner strength, which again, that can always be worked on. I feel it just has to do with things that this person has been through. Um, but yeah, so that was pile one. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. So who is this person really? Let's see. So for our theme... We have, I am trustful in my relationship. So this is a good sign because I feel um, this person does actually put a lot of trust in their relationships. They take their relationships seriously as well. And I think it's a good thing because I feel a lot of people nowadays, like it's hard for them to trust. And this person, <clears throat> once they do trust you, uh, they fully trust you. So uh, I feel trust is also very important to this person. And again, whether it's friend, friendship or relationship, um, regardless. So let's see what we have for our cards. Okay, so we have six of blades or six of swords. This person... Um, with Six of Swords, it kind of also, it makes me think of a person who likes to maybe um, travel. Because uh, it makes me think of the boat, essentially. It's someone who, um, when they kind of transition to a new phase in their life, it's always a more positive transition. So I feel this person does go through a lot of positive transitions. Um they don't stay in one place for long is also kind of what I get with that. Hmm. 
Like they just like to um, experience a lot of new things and um, it's like not being afraid to kind of leave things that no longer serve them behind with the Six of Blades. Then we have the Page of Elixirs, which would be uh, the Page of Cups and it's like a young water sign. So eternal youth so this is someone who's very youthful um and they could even be like emotionally immature at times um but they are also emotional themselves with the page of elixirs um this person is also being portrayed as very creative as well and then we have the Queen of Rods. <clears throat> so also, this person is very confident, is what I also get. And they embrace their feminine side, like they know that they have both feminine and masculine. They're very confident within themselves. Um, they could. It's like having a leadership ability as well, because even with the Queen of Rods, I feel that. So not just the King, but as well as the Queen, she's a boss as well. So someone who definitely doesn't lack confidence, someone who has a lot of warmth really, because the Queen of Rods also has a lot of warmth and um, wisdom. Okay. Then we have the Six of Elixirs. So yeah, this is someone who, we have two sixes here, but this is definitely someone who I feel is very nostalgic this person and maybe that's why they have so much trust in their relationships because i feel they've actually had a lot of good relationships in their life they have a lot of good memories is what i also get i feel with the six of elixirs it's also saying that this person loves to uh loves the balance of giving and receiving when it comes to relationships um and p just people in general they love that an equal give and take emotionally. So I feel, you know, this person does give off to me uh, good vibes. But, you know, with two sixes, I'm just getting like they definitely like to kind of transition into better phases. They don't stay in one place for long. It could have to do with the youth inside of them as well because they still have a lot of youth in them. Because uh, notice too, it does say eternal youth number 11 so we have the number 11 as well let's see what else we got oh yeah so i did mention wisdom so we have saturn which is um wisdom so this person could be very structured have a lot of responsibility ambition this is kind of like a little bit of seriousness as well so i feel this person does again it's like they they're very trusting. They take things very seriously. This person does not joke around or play around, um, again, with relationships. It's just what I keep getting. Like, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but it's like it just keeps coming up within these cards that it's just really imp uh, important to this person. And then Taurus, the bombshell. So in our earth sign, I love Taurus. Um, earthy, practical, productive, fertile, ample, right, pleasure-seeking. Again, also very down to earth vibe as well as wisdom. So it's kind of like a serious vibe, but also um, you get this nice earthy Taurus vibe as well from this person. Um, they're very practical. So even though they are like in their emotions, I feel this person is also very practical is what I get with that. Um, hmm. And yeah, I mean, it's good. I feel this. it's good that this person has feelings. I feel it's a really good trait to also, again, have or want to have that much trust within, you know, between you and other people or other relationships. So I like this person. They seem like a very good person and they seem like the type of person who, again, it's like, if they don't, if they feel like they can't trust you with the six of swords, again, they're not afraid to kind of walk away if they feel like they don't trust a person because they, again, trust is big to them. So if they feel like they can't trust you, it's not too, um, you know, hard for them to walk away. So that was Pile. 
two and that's who this person is so if you enjoyed this reading please hit that like button subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye so who is this person um who are they really so we have the theme i embrace the all which tells me that this person is probably the type of person who lives life to the fullest or tries their hardest to um and they actually do embrace i feel a lot of things in life and all possibilities um i don't i think that you know they're just definitely i'm getting like the live life to the fullest type of people so we have the seven of blades reversed so this tells me that this person um they're not what i'm getting is that they're not very stealthy they're not sneaky because this is reversed um for some of them maybe in the past they were but i feel like because it's reversed so sometimes it could be like in the past they have had those motives but i feel this person isn't the type of person to be very sneaky um or kind of do something that they know they can't get away with again it could be that they have changed um their ways of like actually you know thinking again so they could have been pretty sneaky in the past so then we have the four of rods again i'm getting the live life to the fullest energy because this would be the four of wands so it's someone who really likes to go out they like to celebrate they like to party probably is what i also get with the four of rods um Ten of elixirs reversed. I get that this person, wow, I'm getting with the reversal that this person actually isn't the type of person to be in a, it be with someone for a very long time it, with the ten of elixirs reversed. I feel like emotionally they're not there. Um, I also feel like this is something they put in the past. I feel like a sense of heaviness when it comes to long-term family thinking for this person with the Ten of Elixirs reversed because, you know, I'm getting that they don't have a lot of faith in long-term love is what I get with the Ten of Elixirs reversed. And again, for a lot of people that could be because of past uh, occurrences, that kind of thing. Um, Maybe that's why we have the seven of blades reversed because maybe, I don't know, something, they did something or there was some sneakiness where now it's like they don't, I don't know. I just get that, you know, they're probably a party person and they don't really um, think very long term is what I get with that because maybe they just feel like they won't have happiness or they won't find someone um, and again, it could be because of some kind of sneakiness that was in the past, which is why it's reversed. And it's sort of like now, um, they have changed that. So it could be something they messed up for themselves or, you know, oh yeah. Then we, oh my gosh, then we have the world reversed. Oh geez. So this person, oh my gosh, I feel like they kind of just got out of some kind of cycle um i feel like right now or what i'm really getting is that karma does not work in their favor with the world card being reversed um ooh. Oh. it could be i keep getting like maybe karma so it could be that you know some karma that they've had um where things just for like you know the world card being reversed it's like i feel this person's very kind of misguided right now I definitely feel that because it seems as though um their faith is kind of like not where it's supposed to be um also maybe this person for some of them doesn't don't like to travel but I feel like for a lot it just has to do with the fact that karma or the wheel isn't um, well, this isn't the wheel, but I'm saying like it's not really, nothing is really going in their favor is what I'm trying to say. Um, hmm. I just keep getting karma with that. So then we have Virgo and 
Leo. So we're getting, again, we're looking at um, what else we can get. And we have the alchemist. So medicinal, aligned, efficient, insightful, healthy, discerning, accurate, critical, nervous, perfectionist with the Virgo. So they probably have some Virgo traits in them. Um, and that would obviously be earthy. Then we have Leo the lover. So someone who is probably very again this person does come off as confident because they do like to celebrate and they like to have a good time even though emotionally they're probably not doing well especially with the world card reversed and you know the 10 of elixirs reversed it's like dang um but they're probably very you know playful warm extrovert they i feel this person definitely comes off as an extrovert just because we do have the four of wands here as well so in virgos as well um but definitely leo self-confident probably flirtatious as well that's the word i was looking for i'm glad i looked at that because um leos can be very flirty and again with the four of wands whoo so what i get is yeah this person um who are they really well there's someone who definitely is going through a lot and it's funny because even pile two it's like this person doesn't have a lot of faith in a long-term relationship right now. I feel, again, a lot of things aren't really going good for them. Maybe even when it comes to that point, um, that area in their life, I feel like they put some kind of sneakiness in the past or some kind of deceptive behavior. Again, they could have put that in the past, either that or they're just not this way. Um, and maybe someone else kind of fucked them up and now um again things still aren't going i feel like this is more karma though so for a lot of them they probably were sneaky in the past Ooh, but yeah this person oh my gosh <laughs> i mean overall um they're a fun person to be around um and they're probably very happy and they probably give off you know good vibes in general but underneath it all i feel they're going through a lot um and especially with the Ten of Elixirs, just be careful if you've been wanting to date this person because I feel they don't see that right now. And I feel it's because, you know, a lot has been going on or has gone on. So be careful with that. But that was pile three. Um, I hope this resonated. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Who is this person really? What are they about? So what are their intentions, whatever. Let's kind of get more into this person or those of you who chose the theme, I consume only my fair share. So let's see who this person is. So we have the 10 of blades. Wow, what a great start. <laughs> so we have the 10 of swords here. This person is someone who has been stabbed in the back many times is what I get. I feel a lot of people have taken advantage of this person. Oh my gosh. They have gone through a lot of hard, hard endings. Jeez, maybe even one that was very uh, recent. Then we have the King of Coins here. Um, I like this because I feel this person um, could also be an Earth sign, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel this person is actually very career oriented. Um, I feel structure and stability is important to this person um, and it's like they make it their forefront and let's see what else so then we oh my gosh so we have the eight of blades next oh sheet shit a sheet oh sheet so this tells me that this person is like very um and i think i think it has a lot to do with how many times they've been stabbed in the damn back if you ask me but they're very um they hide themselves with the Eight of Swords. They don't express themselves as well as they should. Um, I feel it's kind of like an introverted card. It reminds me of the Hermit. Um, I remember in Pile 1, I think there was like a Page of Swords reverse and it, it also kind of gave me the Hermit vibe. So does the Eight of Swords. It gives me the Hermit vibe. It gives me the vibe of this person that cannot really express themselves good or cannot open up well enough. And I feel this is who they are. Um, however, with the King of Coins, I do feel this person actually is a very good person. I think they mean well. So let's see what else we have. Oh my gosh, guys. The Two of Blades. Wow. Jeez. A lot of swords here. 
Um, now this probably doesn't have to mean a bad thing. Maybe this person just does have a lot of air in their chart, so it could be that. Um, but no, I mean, with the two of blades, I'm getting, again, um, hermit vibe. I'm getting that they hide behind a mask. I feel this person definitely does not, again, express themselves like they should. Uh, they could also be the type who's indecisive as well. But oh my gosh, when I picture this person, I picture like someone with a freaking hoodie on, like over their face, like you can't see them, like literally it's like you can't see me. But then we have the king of coins and I feel that it's, it's like, it's, it's so sad because you see the swords and then you see right in the middle, this, this great king with all these flowers, like so beautiful. And I feel that's who they truly are. I just feel like they hide behind a lot. Um, and, you know, even though we have the king here, this could be a female as well. It's just maybe a female with a more masculine mentality, um, but just someone who's really kind of closed off. So we have third house perception. So I feel a lot of this actually has to do with their perception um, about things. Um, it could have to do with the thoughts, it, you know, social media social interactions in general and i feel this does consume them and it's a big reason as to why they're so kind of guarded i feel with the perception i feel they have a very wide perception of things and it can sometimes really make them kind of want to crawl in a ditch and just stay there because it's like they have such a wide perception of things um and then we have aries so i mean they could have again some fire they are leaders and it doesn't surprise me because we have the king of coins here and he he could be very much a leader. He is a leader. So someone who's very active, daring, um, fiery, innocent, uh, could he, you know, courageous, uh, impulsive, competitive. That's, um, you know, Aries have that very youthful kind of energy. Um, so this could be... Again, they could just have some Aries in their chart, but this is very, they're just the um, uh, the radical as well. So maybe they just have a radical kind of personality. So even though they come off as closed, maybe once you get to know this person and you um, uncover all these layers, all the hurting with the Ten of Swords and things like that, then you kind of get to know this person. And there's someone, again, with a wide perception, um, someone who maybe does use social media a lot. And someone as well who's very much like an Aries, uh, maybe very fiery when you get to know this person. Um, and it doesn't really surprise me because, again, with the King of Coins, it, it could also be an Aries because it could be someone who's um, very just driven and it, they kind of go hand in hand. So someone who's very driven and radical, but also at the same time kind of closed off because they feel they've been through a lot. Um, a lot of kind of, a lot of stabs in the back. Okay, we have the Ace of Elixirs. Yeah, the Three of Elixirs and the King of Rods. So we have two of the masculine and we ha it could be an Aries with the King of Rods, but I feel once you get to know this person, they're actually very caring with the uh, Ace of Elixirs. I feel they're very loving because we have the Love Potion. Um, I love this because with the Three of Elixirs, they're very fun also. They're like, you can have a good time with them. It's like you can also, if, if it's like a potential love connection, like it can also be a, a friendship like you know like a close friendship connection as well so you can very much be good friends with this person like so not they, they also make a good friend I don't I mean maybe they're the type of person that you know let others take advantage of them which is why they get walked all over and maybe stabbed in the back um but overall they're very con they are confident and I think it could be like some of that Aries they do have some confidence it's just that yeah since they've been hurt so much they hide but they're, the, again, the type of person who you can be friends and lovers with. And they're very loving individuals. They're very caring. That doesn't surprise me because with all the swords here, I feel maybe this person put out so much emotion and let 
him, um, him or herself be so vulnerable that, you know, it kind of backfired in a way, but it's not their fault. It's, you know, other people, it's the world. But yeah, that's who they are. They're very fun loving once you get past those layers, I feel there's nothing really negative here. I think they're a good person. So that was pile four. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.